Hello, y'all, and welcome to Tez Vio. In Tez Vio, I'm doing Tez Iron Shop as always, being the 24th of the 7th, 2024. Let's chat. Tez Iron Shop. So, first, with the Free Stripe Squad Bundle. This is, of course, the Adidas collab. It looks pretty nice. So, first, with the Chill Challenger here. Basically, how these things work is you can choose between a few headwears with basic white girl, axolotl, uh, socks medusa, uh, sharpie shredder, whatever this weird creature, and what the hell ever, weird honeybee queen, I don't know. Yeah, very interesting, say the least. And also change the colours on all of her outfit too, but you should not do pure black if you are one in. So, sweaty boys, disappointing. And this is her style. All of them, the only difference is it changes their skin tones. So we have Glam Gunner here and their hair. This is her style. Then we have the Vogue, uh, just the Vogue. I'm calling her the Vogue. She has nice makeup. And this is her style. And then we have the Striped Slinger. This is her style. And then we have the Relaxed Runner. And this is her style. Pretty nice. And get them down here. Then we have the Free Stripe Squad Deer Bundle. All the Adidas Deer Bundle. With the Free Stripe Circuits. Emote Traversal. It's just, you're just surfing in the Adidas logo. I don't know why that's the stummiest brand incorporation I've ever seen. Then we have the ADA Lotl Backpack. You can have uh, either Adidas logos and you also change the colours of all of it too. And if you don't want to see the Adidas logo, you can just make the, t the bottom part the logo and your bottom part the same colour. Pretty nice. And then we have the Soul Slasher here from Chapter 5 Season 3. They're all from Chapter 5 Season 3. I didn't mention that because I don't think I need to. And you just make them all red too. It's a pretty nice big ass. But I wouldn't buy. You can get them also with two. This collab's not for me, but it might be for you. Then we have Pirates of the Caribbean still here. Then we can start with the brand new Mine emote here from Chapter 5 Season 3. Most of you should know that song from TikTok. Then we have the Memento Mori bundle with the Grave Hearts in here from Chapter 4 Season 1. You can make her ghost light. And this is her style. Her logo style's new. Looks pretty nice. I don't know why she looks like a weird JoJo Siwa costume. In terms of Winds of Woe Backling, the Ghost Light edit style. So Ghost Lick to edit style. Then we have the Plumps Talon here. From the same season, you make it ghostly. And then with the Silver Dirge uh, Wrap here from the same season. In games with two. Then we have the Fairs, uh, Fairway Bundle. With the Bodhi Basher here from Season 7. How these things work is you make them yellow, take off their hat and the glasses, and this is her, this is his other style. Or so I say her. And all of them are the same, so I'm showing over their names. So we have the Swing Sergeant, letter style, the Eagle Enforcer, letter style, the P P Punisher, letter style, and the Cart Champion, letter style. We also have the Dauntless Driver, it's like an upgraded driver from Season 7. You can make it 9, flat stick, or a standy slicer. And then we have the park, par back, back clone that you can make it zesty too. That's seriously, it's edit style name, zest, zest, T. And again, I'm all set with two. Very nice. Besides the back clone. Then we have Gold Band with the champion to the pitch bundle. It's basically, how, basically all the males, OG soccer skins. How these skins work is you make their number on their shorts and the back of their jersey. Dot to 99. And the logs that goes is... Zero. And you put a bunch of countries on it, like Argentina, Australia, Belgium, or even Brazil. It's pretty nice. And this is his style. So I'll just go over their names. So then we have the Super Striker here, Letter Style, our Stair, Stair Walt Sweeper, Letter Style, and Aerial Threat, Letter Style. Now for the Fearbells, we have the Star Playmaker Bundle. They're the exact same with the Poison Playmaker, Letter Style. Poison Playmaker. She's very popular with skin. Then we have the Finest Finisher, Letter Style. The clinical crossler, same of her, she's pretty popular. And then we have the dynamic dribbler, let us tell. She's probably the least popular female out of all of them. And game set we down here too. Then we have the doll bound lighter here from Sin 4. Same with the Vuvu Zilla Pitats here. That is reactive. Don't know how it's reactive though. Then we have kick ups here from Sin 4. And fancy footwork here from Season 5. It is traversal too. Then we have red card here from Sin 4. And the elite fleet from the same season. Pretty nice. Then we have some summer road trip jam traps. I think all of these, yeah, I think they just decided to put some here. I think these are all not new. Then we have Rocket Racing, F and CS. Ah, oh, start your engines the same. Then we have the brand new Wastelander Dummy Level Up Quest Pack. These come out every season at the end of the season when there's like a month left, in case you need 28 levels. 
basically every week another seven levels will be unlocked and all you have to do is just collect the tokens around the map. So that's with the Wasteland are done. We've seen you get for buying it, for buying the quest pack. He's from Jet 5 Sin Frey and has the armored edit style. If you want this edit style, you have to do all 28 quests. But it's pretty easy, the quests. And then we have Zelda style you get when you buy this pack. Then we have the Wasteland wheel. You have to do seven challenges for this, so you should unlock it today. Then we have the dummy drip. Yeah, I think you can. I think you have to do 14 for this. It's pretty nice. And then we have the dummy smacker. Yeah, you have to do 21 for this. It's pretty nice. They're all from Chapter 5 Season 3, and here are the quests. Pretty nice new bundle. Then we have the festival. We have the disruptor kit here. So the drums, you can make it a legend. And then we have the beast stairs for the guitar. And the Asian artifact base for the guitar. No, you idiot. So the base. And then we have the jam tracks. Metallica, Lego, and Specials and Bundles. So yeah, that says is really a long item shop. A lot of, like, multiple stins turn into, like, it's hard to explain. I love these stins where there's, like, 50 different versions and they're all customizable. But yeah, that says item shop. The highlight is that we have the brand new Mine emotes, new Adidas stins, and the brand new Level Up Press Pack. So yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.